Hi, this is Astro Bat Boy on all my social media platforms. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going to do a watercolor featuring Daniel Smith watercolor paints. And as always, all materials are listed in the description below. This piece is titled Cruel Summer, inspired by one of those catchy songs from back in the day, the 80s, but also it's a reflection on all my past summers. This year has definitely been a challenging one and has forced us to really look at ourselves and how we lived our lives and really think about where we're at and overanalyze everything for sure. But with that, this is the first summer that I'm realizing that I've had time to myself to recharge, reboot, and just think about myself and get myself together. Ever since I can remember, every summer has always been productive where my parents would send me some kind of after school summer program intensive four, six, eight week type of situation. And as I got older, I pretty much hit the ground running with doing summer work, like working to become an adult and make my own money. It's through these summer programs and jobs that I did I'm now seeing that I did a lot of my own internal growing. One of my earliest memories of doing a community summer outreach program that I was sent to, I learned lots of things. As in terms of the, like, you know, I learned how to swim, but I also learned about myself and accepting and being courageous with myself. Since I was a child, I always was different and marched to the beat of my own drum. Even though I was quiet, I was always in my own world. And one specific time, the program started a weekly share of music where a specific kid was chosen for the week to show their favorite song and share it with the class in hopes to know, enrich, share cultures. And I was one of the first ones without thinking at that time, I was obsessed with Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame. And I had brought one of the main theme songs that I was just on high repeat playing. Keep in mind, at this point, I, I was probably in middle school. So growing up where I am, it was very much an urban type of place. So without thinking, I didn't realize that I was going to be judged for playing Disney music at an age where pretty much everyone was already listening to rap, hardcore music, and while playing it i didn't feel like you know any expectations but i quickly saw everyone around me was like what the hell is this and it was one of those realizations where like oh wow what i like is really different but let me not panic let the music play and see what happens and in the end people were a lot more kinder to me i could tell people were not into it but it just taught me like share yourself this is what you like and people will get it, hopefully. And if not, it's their problem. I did look out while growing up. I was labeled pretty much the artsy kid. I never really got picked on because people would say, he's so different. Oh, but he's an artist, that's his thing. But following the summers later on, going into high school, I was able to connect with a program that I'm forever thankful my mom found and put me in because it was one of the first experiences where honestly, I was able to step outside of my world, my community, and see that there was all different types of people. For one, I was introduced to white people. And that's such a funny thing to say, but I was able to see a different world and privileges and different standards from mine and what I was growing up with. But I am thankful that at that time, I met really special people that enlightened me and introduced me to a world that I've been craving. Up until then, Growing up, I listened to my own things, I did my own things, but, and I never really felt like I fit in with the rest of the, the students and friends that I had made during this time. But being in this program, I finally met people that were like-minded and introduced me to a vast world of arts, culture, music. It just expanded from there. That's when I learned there was electronic, there was rock, there was techno, indie, folk, all this, like, energy and music I had been craving for and not knowing how to articulate I discovered and was connected with so it became a big point in my life where I changed for the better 
I started to really tap into my creative outlet and create more and see things outside of the typical things I had been drawing. Up until this point, everything I drew was kind of fan art, you know, looking at cartoons and comic books that I like, recreating it. But this gave me the intuition to start believing in myself to make my own characters and produce my own personal contact, my own stories. I was hitting a personal creative high, but I didn't even realize there was so much more to come. Once again, thankfully my mother found a program in the city. Uh, up until this point, I was growing up in the Bronx, so I really just knew the Bronx and this newer world, which was more like Riverdale, higher up suburban neighborhood. But I was finally introduced to downtown, you know, St. Mark's, Lower East Side, West Village, and it really just was like an explosion of so much culture and I just grew from there. Uh, I was able to challenge myself through classes, you know, doing intensive drawing sessions where it was straight up boot camp drawing, piles of chairs for hours, life drawing, still life, perspectives, and really pushing me out of my cartoon character world and being able to get good at something else, the classics, traditional art, but still in the end realizing what I wanted to do was just more illustration. So as I got older, uh, going into college, I pushed off more into working and I would work the summers. And at that point, I felt like I was at a good point where I was becoming efficient, learning. Art was becoming a bit of a back seat type of situation since I was enrolled technically in a technical school. And we did do fine arts the first few years, but towards the latter years, it became very technical and intensive. So the summers were spent working, and when I wasn't working, I actually ended up going through school still, through another college to get as many of my humanity credits, so I never really had a proper summer. And then going into being an adult, I pretty much, you know, being a freelance artist at that time in the post-production world, I was permalance, that's what they called it, and I worked year-round. I didn't really get to like sit down, relax, go on vacations for summers. It wasn't a concept for me. It was just work, work, work. If I did take a break, it meant I wasn't getting paid. I wasn't on the staff roll. So for me, it was pay bills, pay loans, pay my debts, and keep working. So now in my current situation, for the past few years, uh, being a professional makeup artist, it's been pretty much the same situation working through the summers, especially early on in my career as a makeup artist. The bulk of my work happened from spring until fall. It was where there were a lot of independent films that you know would last a month to a few months. So I would really invest myself into working during that time, trying to build up my portfolio, my resume, and my connections. And so once again, working through everything, never really taking a break. And it's during this time where, as I was really starting to make new goals, I've done a lot of accomplishments by then, but I was setting new five-year goals and where I wanted to be and what I wanted to be doing. And ultimately, I did decide at that moment, I want to be an artist above all. And then within that umbrella, I would love to still keep doing makeup artistry professionally for TV and film, but I wanted to find the time, you know, to really delve in and get back to growing as an artist. You know, I think all of us, we hit the ground running. That's what we're taught to do in this world. You know, it's about get your career, yeah, family. Even that's changed a bit, but it's always been focused on towards you and bettering yourself to the next level. So now when this pandemic had hit us, it's been a bad situation but in trying my best to make it something good I'm finally getting the time to do the things I've been wanting to do and been putting in a burner we all do of course it's really hard to actually do it because times right now are really depressing reflecting on ourselves being isolated it really takes a big toll on you it's funny because this year this summer would have been my first real vacation I was setting aside for myself. I was planning on taking a month off um, August into September and basically going to one of my longtime destinations, going to Japan and South Korea. It's been postponed for now because who knows, you know, things are happening. But like I've said, this time I've spent really just in my thoughts, but taking it easy, 
just being able to breathe, you know, being taught to just always go, go. It's all I ever known. So being able to properly just relax, reflect, take long walks, do art at my own pace. This feels pretty much like what I envisioned retirement to be minus the traveling. But I am finding solace and enjoying this time, seeing the benefits of what it's brought, which has allowed me to grow and better myself within my skill sets as an artist. This is why I started the channel, you know, the past few years I've thought about doing something like this but never really had the time. This has given me the time to start making this content and based on how things are going I'm not sure how long I'll be able to do it. Hopefully I'm able to set up a few videos for the next few months and let's say if work does pick up and we're allowed to go back to work I can set them off and keep going but I do like that I've been given this chance to do this and in a way it's almost like a journal record keeping of what I've been doing this year and so that's why I thought about this piece as always my pieces are always focused and devoted to feminine energy and power and always have a bit of myself like a portrait into this work looking back at this now and at it it's giving me very much Frida Kahlo vibes as I've mentioned before, I've been taking long walks specifically to parks and botanical gardens nearby me. So it's given me a lot of time to reconnect with nature and I've been loving it. You know, I feel as humans, as we get older, especially growing up in a metropolis, we want to head back to nature and ultimately want to end there, pull away from everything. So it's a reflection of that mixed in with lots of tropical summer vibes something that i've been craving and wanting and getting in my own way but i look forward to when we're able to move forward with our lives and integrate into traveling comfortably and going to take the time to leisure and you know self-care so with that i'm going to leave you with the last bits of this piece it was really fun to do it was really relaxing uh, I really loved working with Daniel Smith watercolors. They're so sublime and so rich, and they get to granulate pretty nicely too. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe, and catch me on Twitter or the gram to see other works of mine. Thank you.